So here we are recording a uh, piece of Jeep. Maybe my lens is dirty. Hold on there. Hmm, okay. Let's take a look at this guy and watch it. Watch the light on it. This is not quartz, because <laughs> um, quartz doesn't and can't have planes of cleavage. And that's what you're seeing there, is planes of cleavage, making what we call chatoyancy in the stone, like a moonstone or um, something like that. And that's kind of what the, the people call this stuff, felspar, right? Felspar and quartz. And, and, and they're looking at the little cubes in here, thinking those are separate crystals, maybe. Except it's harder than quartz. Uh, harder than quartz, yeah, it's... it's usually about nine on the Mohs scale of hardness. And it, it, it's not quartz, and it's not felspar. It's actually uh, um, platinum. It has cubic structure. That's why you see little cube-looking things in there, and, and they all line up. It's because... It's, it's actually A-U-P-T, okay? There's platinum and gold. And they line up. It's mostly platinum in this one. They line up in perfect little rows and columns. So you find this cubic structure with planes of cleavage, like a diamond. Diamonds have planes of cleavage for the same reason, because carbon atoms are all the same size, right? So these are gold and platinum atoms, and they're, they're both uh, one, they're right next door to each other in the periodic table. Um, platinum has 78 protons, gold has 79 protons. One more. And that difference makes some of the stuff in here, this black stuff, magnetic. It's a mixture of gold and platinum. And, and when, you, when you do a streak test on this, it shows you a, a light golden streak rather than black or something like that. It's a light gold that kind of rocks back and forth between gold and silver. Gold and silver color. Um, boy, my camera can't figure out how to focus anymore, apparently. Anyway, and there you, there you see some of the gold, and, and it, it just depends on which way the, the light hits it. It, it um, absorbs light, too, because there's a, um, an absorption of white light uh, in platinum for some reason. I don't know why yet. Uh, I will tell you when I find out. But that's what this is, the whole thing. It's one crystal. It's not like a bunch of little crystals. It's one crystal. And it has a very, very cubic structure that you can see throughout the entire stone. And when you get it all shined up, platinum has a, a kind of silky sheen to it. That, uh, that no other metal has, and it's white. <laughs> it's white. White 
metal. Uh, they, they, I read that in the book, and, and you know, in the laboratory, I've seen little crystals of platinum, and they're um, little gray cubes, some of them with hoppers. And, and I, I spent a great deal of money to buy some of those one time, um, you know, $900 an ounce or something. That's a, a, a lot of money for just a, a gram of stuff. And, and I've never been able to afford platinum to look at it, to play with it. So I didn't know what it looked like. In fact, pretty much no one does. Yeah, platinum comes out of Russia for the most part, or South Africa. Home of the oligarchs. And these stones make up the entire mountain range I live in. The entire thing, the whole thing, is some form of AUPT based around platinum. Platinum is the first thing that comes out of the melt. When, when rocks are starting to cool down from molten metal, the first thing that comes out is the carbon. It has the highest melting point, and so as things cool, it starts precipitating out. And then silicon carbide, because it reacts with that carbon, and, and silicon and carbon are both semi-metals. They have four electrons in the outer valence orbit. And next is platinum. Platinum starts coming out, and it is actually common as the proverbial mud. Every rock, every mountain in the entire world is made out of granite. This is granite, and it is not a bunch of little crystals of anything that is a single crystal of AUPT based on platinum and the mixture of gold. You can see the gold in here. But the black stuff is where they mix together, where they bound together, and they bind with each other with covalent bonds not metallic bonds, so they don't act like a metal. It is solid metal, but much, much harder because of those. It's a double covalent bond, and maybe even a double, double covalent bond in some cases when they come out of a fault line or when they come from... Tremendous pressure, like uh, metamorphic granite, and that's I live in a, in an area of metamorphic granite. The entire mountain range I live in got pushed up during the uh, KT extinction event, and they're nice big sharp mountains like like this and and in fact every mountain that you've ever seen is one of these angles here How about that, huh? And that's why. Because they're all AUPT.